Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I am Arsenio BJJ and we are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video, this time featuring another no-gi match between me and uh, one of my pro belt friends, he's actually not part of the ZR team, but I invited him to the open mat and we decided to do uh, a little flow roll no-gi sparring round. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So here we're just uh, feeling each other out, getting grips. I'm trying to get the uh, grip on the bicep and grip on the back of the neck. He's also trying to do the same thing. And I think he's a wrestler. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm trying to keep my distance and uh, not get taken down. So here we disengage. We're going to re-engage. He goes down to the ground, goes down to one knee in combat stance, excuse me. And here I'm trying to um, get, uh, I was trying to kind of rock him over, but he's able to get my back. And here I'm going to be sitting in a butterfly position. What I want to do is get the shin to shin position, get the arms and probably do an arm drag right here. I try to get the shin, shin, to, shin to shin, excuse me. And he steps over and I immediately do a technical stand up and get back to my feet. Now what I'm trying to do here is do kind of like the same thing. He's going down to one knee in the combat stance. And I think that he's trying to set something up, but it's a floral. So he's not really uh, going hundred percent. So here I'm able to kind of get in but he's able to buck me and I'm still trying to get that uh, grip on the back of the neck and grip on the bicep and then I sit to guard and what I want to do here is get kind of like a single leg X position but he's able to kind of s stop that and uh, get me into a half guard position right here he's grabbing a grip on my wrist and I think he's trying to set up a Kimura so I immediately start lacing my legs for the half guard position and I roll and get into the deep half guard position now from here if you look at my left arm I'm trying to make sure that it stays under his leg and not exposed for the Kimura that's that's one of the traps you can get caught in right there if you keep that arm exposed you get uh Kimura from there so here I'm tucking it under the leg. I'm trying to hook that leg and uh, get a half guard sweep. And here I'm able to roll on top. He's able to roll and then I'm able to uh, roll back again. And right here, he's actually setting up a leg lock attack. He's going for a knee bar right here. So I'm going to try to grip the hands right here. And what I'm doing is I'm basing on my head and basing on my toes and basing on my knee, trying to make sure that my uh, left knee isn't going to get straight for the for the um, knee bar. So here I'm able to uh, bend my knee and get into the 50-50 position right here. I actually don't have a very good heel hook game. I'm still learning it, uh, but I wasn't going to go ahead and try anything that I wasn't, you know, well versed in here. And it's a flow roll. It's not, you know, it's not a no gi world. So here we're in the 50-50 position. He immediately gets out of that position. I do a technical stand up and we get back to the feet. So here I'm getting that uh, grip on the back of the neck, grip on the arm. We disengage right here. I'm trying to get the same thing. So here I'm trying to kind of force his posture down. He goes down to the combat stance on one knee, which is which he's been doing. And right here I get the single leg. Uh, I spin, try to um, basically take him down right here. And I'm able to hook that far leg and he's doing a very good job of stopping me from uh, running the pipe and getting him down. Now here I'm trying to do the body lock position, but he's able to really do this position where he kind of like drives his head and uh, his back into my head and uh, my shoulders, stopping me from kind of uh, dominating that body grip position right there. So here I'm kind of setting up a seatbelt grip and I want to get to the back, but here he's doing a very good job of keeping the turtle. So I again get the um, the uh, body lock position right here and I try to set up a seatbelt. Here I'm uh, the body lock once again and he's doing that same head position trying to stop me. So I, I'm switching from the body lock to the um, seatbelt grip to the body lock. I'm able here to get one hook in, uh, trying to uh, get my second hook in. I'm not really focused on getting the choke, which is something that I should have been doing. I should have tried to get the choke to have him, uh, you know, kind of focus on that and then get my hook in. So here I'm still on the back I'm doing a good job of staying on the back, kind of on his lower back and not uh, getting bucked off. So I have one hook in. Here I'm trying to force the other hook in. I do a good job of forcing that hook in, but he's doing a very good job of holding my toes right here. And what he's trying to do is uh, sit over that hook and keep the toes and uh, step out. So that's exactly what he does right here. I tried to follow him up, but I'm not able to, and he's able to come up in a uh, uh, half, uh, I'm sorry, not half guard, but side control position right here. And uh, now what I want to do is get back into my half guard. So I immediately get that knee shield in and he backs away. And now I'm sitting in a butterfly position. I look at the clock and there's, I don't, there's less than 30 seconds left, I do believe. And here he's able to kind of get that Kimura grip that I was worried about. And uh, I'm able to kind of get him into the half guard position, but he's got the Kimura and the time runs out. So that was just a little flow roll that we decided to do a no gi flow roll where we kind of just work through positions and, uh, 
work for dominance there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the video. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. I just kind of wanted to show a flow roll style no-gi grappling match where we kind of just work through positions and we kind of figure out um, each other's styles and everything. He's a very good wrestler uh, from what I remember. And uh, that combat stance he kept getting in was he was able to, you know, take my back or get me down from that position. So I was kind of worried about that. But uh, it's always good to just, you know, flow roll and, and figure things out and get a nice... Um, sweat going so that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the video i will be bringing more nogi uh videos to the channel so stay tuned for that next week i'm trying to get a role in with my head coach lucas rocha so that is going to be a barn burner so ladies and gentlemen thank thank you for watching the video and that is it peace